Hey everyone, this is Greg. Welcome again to Geek Cheese and welcome again to Diablo 3. This is the uh, playthrough of the individual campaign with my Demon Hunter Cooper. We uh, Last time we reached level 50, we entered a bunch of Hell Rifts, and now we're going to uh, find Imperius at the Crystal Colonnade. Imperius in the Kingdom of the Crystal Colonnade. So, episode title. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, when who? When we last met, I had a bunch of stuff. I dropped a bunch of shit because I didn't need anything. So now we're gonna go do this. And it sounded like there's a certain level of uh, urgency to to the music. So I figured, ah, let's just keep going. But let's do another episode. Split it in two. And there's a cut sequence. That's supposed to like scare me. You, your kind does not belong here. If I see you again, you will die. What was that? Pay him no mind. This is your fight, Nephilim. Your power is even greater than Tyrion. That was imperious. One can only hope. He just lectured me. But now. We must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. All right. All right. Oh, shit happened. Stop happening around me. Diablo moves to corrupt the crystal Ooh. arch on the silver spire. Should he succeed, the heavens will be lost forever. This is our final chance. Tyriel and I must reach the top of the spire and confront the Lord of Terror. My dog's taking a drink. I didn't know what that noise was. I got really worried. What the fuck is, is he doing? Here. Corruption is thicker here? Is that why it's darker? It was just a taste. Oh. Leah. Knowing you helped me become the prime evil. For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing. God about Leah. Some savior, you are Nephilim. Leah, no. So, um, let's go there. In the meantime, I'm just going to shoot stuff around you, Magda. You don't need to serve my master, the lion, but you killed him and unleashed the pride evil on the world. I didn't unleash I anything, lady. So I increased the hardness difficulty to 50, I think? I might have bumped it up higher than that the last time. Alright, I have to ask you guys this too. What do you think about this, uh, this whole, uh, the show? There's a show called uh, Curse of Oak Island on the History Channel. Now, I haven't watched. I haven't watched. I watched the show like 
bunch of times, but I haven't seen it recently. Didn't even know it was still on. I haven't watched the History Channel, which is not even history anymore. I don't even know what the History Channel is anymore. But, uh... Diablo's power is growing. We what do you guys think of it? You think it's a bunch of bullshit? I'm pretty sure it's all a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of, uh... Now, the whole Curse of Oak Island, like the actual Oak Island thing, I don't know if that's bullshit. It seems a little weird to me, but... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of stuff happening around here. Also, so let me tell you what I did today. Today, I was going to do some stuff, and then the natural was on TV. Now, the natural is easily the best baseball movie ever made. Easily. Oh, what the fuck is going on? What am I in the middle of? If you've never seen the natural, if you're, not even, if you're not a fan of baseball, I think you can still get into this movie. It is so good. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, I could really use some of that health there. I did too. But those electric, electric things are not fun. Um... So, the natural is, I like I said, honestly, one of the best, best baseball movies of all time, if not the best baseball movie of all time. It's just so good. It means so much to the world. So so good. Um, it's pretty. It's about this. Uh, It's actually based somewhat on a true story of, uh... Somewhat on a true story of a ball player. He was actually a Philadelphia Philly. And he got... He was shot or stabbed or something like that. By a woman who was a crazed fan. Who, like, thought that they were, like, destined to be married. And um, I think he ended up playing the, like the rest of his career or something like that. But um, so essentially, the story of the natural is that about a ball player who's like shot by a crazed fan or a crazed person, not a fan necessarily, and uh, his life kind of gets derailed and. It's just so good. There's so many things about it. it. Gives you all types of feels. All right, we're just here. Checkpoint. So with the terrain here and the the way it looks, like it's getting there interesting. Is something different here. There is something different here. Not a lot of people. I'll tell you that. So far. Oh fuck. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Who is this? Hi, who are you? What the fuck am I doing? It's like shooting the wrong way. Oh, fucking A. Cool. 
took a hat. Motherfucker. Um, anyway. So yeah, baseball, it, or uh, the natural. Uh, it's about this guy, Roy Hobbs. Super natural at the game. Pretty, pretty much the best. Career gets sidetracked after this crazy person shoots him. And it's pretty much... So many things come together in this movie, but it, it is Robert Redford, Glenn Close is in it. Oh, I can't even begin to explain how important this movie is to life. Especially if you're a baseball fan, it's it's the best goddamn it thing ever. I only hope we are not too late. I can feel Diablo's corruption closing around the light of heaven. Wait, what the hell is this? What was this a waypoint to? Great span waypoint, okay. What am I supposed to do here? Do I have to go back here? Yeah, right? There's no other pathways. Silver Spire level two, I the guess. The Angeris Council is no better than the prime evils themselves. We are just pawns in their cruel game. I don't know what's going on here. Fucking A. What is going on here? What's that? Take some crystal. There's something back here that we have to take care of. Look at the destruction Diablo has wrought. If we do not stop, this is the future of all creation. Well, we don't want that. So, Kelly Ash actually asked me today, what's my favorite baseball movie? And it's such a hard... Oh god, it's so hard to say. Because oh, man, what's that all about? It's so hard to say because there's so many good baseball movies, but So there's there's a really silly, dumb, stupid, like Stupid humor baseball movies like Major League that are. They're really. They're good. They're like. They're good. They're good in a different way. But there's like kind of like almost like the inside baseball type of humor baseball movies. Like Bull Durham. Like Bull Durham's a, sort of a love story at its heart, but it's also a story about a guy at the end of his career. And has like lots of inside jokes about about baseball, a dying quail. I mean, there's so many like references to like baseball things and lingo and and stuff. So it's that's that's a great movie too. Bull Durham is is a fantastic movie. What the fuck? Man? It's a great great movie. Kevin Costner is fantastic in it. Um, which we'll call it's also a great movie. Um, Eight Men Out. I've oh, I have I've only seen Eight Men Out like maybe once in my life. I have to go back. I have to revisit that. Because Eight Men Out is a good is a good movie. It's about the Black Sox scandal um, that that prevented pretty much prevented uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson from being in the Hall of Fame. Although his stuff, like his jersey and things, are in the Hall of Fame, he's just not himself. As a player, he is not in the Hall of Fame. It's honestly a travesty. Fucking A. Getting destroyed by these motherfuckers. Fuck, 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 fuck. Like I said, it's a travesty! He's so good was so good. Oh, 
Jesus. So many things happening there. Though I forsook my home to see it again like this, any joy I might have Shade Power Gloom. That sounds awesome. We must make it to the summit. Fuck. I hate these big things. Uh, so, if you've ever seen the movie Return to Oz, which, if you haven't, I highly suggest watching it, because it is a fucking trippy-ass movie. Done by Disney. It's about Dorothy when she returns to Oz after she's been in, like, electroshock therapy and stuff. It's it's a super fucked up movie. But um, I highly suggest you check it out, because those big things that hammer things in this game look exactly like the rollers in Return to Oz. Um, oh god, that movie's so weird and trippy. It's so fucked up. Everything about it is just so messed up. And the scarecrow's in it, and they call it... It's more... I don't know if it's more aligned to the books, but... Like, the Tin Man's called the Tin Woodsman. It, it's weird. Um, what's her name? Um, the girl who played Bobby Boucher's uh, love interest. And what the fuck is that? Is that my dog? No. Uh, in uh, The Water Boy, plays the main, plays Dorothy. Yeah, it's just a really weird, really weird take on the whole. Um, on the whole thing, the whole Oz universe. Now I I haven't seen the uh, I haven't seen any of the Oz stuff. I uh, was the Oz the Great and Powerful and stuff like that. I haven't I haven't seen the, uh, didn't see that movie or anything. However, another great take on Oz um, is Tin Man. Which was a mini series on the Sci Fi Channel many years ago. And it was starring. Oh, I hate I hate to even say this. Starring Zoe De Chanel. I hate Zoe De Chanel so much. I can't even begin to explain how much I dislike her. Because I find. I feel like every role that she plays, it's like. She has to be. It's like the same role. I have to be this indie darling who likes weird music and this and that. It just pisses me off. Really don't like her at all. Nephilim, I see you did not heed my warning. Yeah, who the fuck you? you think yourself strong enough to face me? If I weren't pressed for time, I just might consider it. Imperious, stop this madness. Diablo is the enemy here, not the Nephilim. Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough. I will... No! Diablo has reached the Arch! No. Diablo has begun extinguishing the Crystal Arch. That's why the angels have fallen. If its light should go out forever, we must defeat Diablo before that happens. Even the angels cannot help us now, Tyrion. You were wise to shed those wings of yours. Diablo's vile corruption bars our path. Stand back. Eldruin's light shall clear the way. You had this power the whole time, dude. To just be able to swing a sword and open doors. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. This last trial is yours alone. I never thought I would fight alongside an angel. Now I can scarcely imagine going on without you. It was an honor, but this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory. 
All right, well, well, folks, let's check out the old inventory and see what we can throw up there to protect ourselves from uh, some bad stuff that's about to happen, I imagine. The hell with it. Let's do it. Let's go to the Crystal Arch. And we're going to find Diablo. Oh wait, she's still with me. Oh no! No! Fucking A, that scared me. That scared me. Where you at, bitch? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's killing me. Oh, is that myself? Am I fighting myself? Yeah. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh my gosh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's dead. Boom, he's dead. No! This wretched light must be eradicated! Did the damage stay with you, Nephilim? With him? Oh, the damage stayed. Okay, good. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Get away from me. Fuck. Shit, that really hurt. Oh shit, that really, really hurt. Fucking A. Free wet, bitch. Oh shit, 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 shit. That's really killing me. Shit, gotta get away. Gotta get away. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. He's almost dead. He's dead. Got him. Come on. Oh, 
I need that health. I'm overburdened. Okay. Well, I just want to see what it picked up. <sighs> Keep looking for traces of Adria. I know her magic well. Have you seen any? No. Whatever she is doing now, she is not doing it here. Okay. So, did I just win the game? I don't know what's going on. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished. Diablo is vanquished. Bring my quest to an as end. As the burning hells exist, there will still be evil, my friend. Time will tell. I beat Diablo. I won the game. Cool. So. Folks, I'm going to click OK. Um, it's been so much fun, though. been disconnected from the server. What? The fuck does that mean? <sighs> if this didn't save or something, I would be super pissed off. Am I back to the beginning? No. Only the dead reek like this. The fallen star is near. Yes, we have much yet to do. Much yet to do? Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. So, did I win the game or not? I'm very confused by all of this. I have journeyed here to find the fallen star and purge its evil from this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. All right, so. I guess I won the game and now I'm back at the beginning, but I still get the Enchantress and I still have the same level. Many things have not been answered by the end of that game. I'm back in Act 1. I'm back in Act 1. Well... Shit. Uh, yeah. I guess the next thing for me to do is I've never played this game online. Like, I've never played Diablo online with other people in the game or anything like that. So, I guess that is, um... The next step in Demon Hunter uh, Cooper's journey here. But, uh... That was kind of anticlimactic. I love this game so much, and I kind of feel like it just ended. Like, I expected some cut sequences. I expected some things. I expected to see Leah come back. I don't know what to think about that. So... Yeah. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little pissed. I'm a little pissed off that uh 
that it just kind of reset in a way. And I was disconnected from the server, which was also really annoying. And I hope that didn't fuck anything up. But I'm going to have to Google it now. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm going to have to go on YouTube and see what the end of this game looks like. <sighs> I'm so pissed off. All right. Anyway, that's the, that's the end. That's the end, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what happens. Uh, until next time, folks, when I'll be playing Diablo again, maybe through the campaign again, I have no clue. Maybe online? I have no idea. But join me next time for another thrilling adventure of Diablo. <laughs> Alright, folks. Well, um, that's it. Question mark? Bye.